dinosaurs from all the hunters you guys hunt for. Hello my waivers, Zabak here, and welcome to another video of Blue Sphere 3, Tips and Tricks. I'm going to teach you about Big A Hunter. If you don't know, this game mode actually has been updated. I'm not sure if it's actually a minigame now, or oh, it's still a skill boss, after all. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it's like a D&D &D, um, thing of a hunter. Yeah. So, Big Game Hunter is where you train your hunter and slayer for the time being. And to, to achieve Big Game Hunter, you need level 75 Slayer and 75 Hunter. Uh, around this area of Anacronium, there's a bunch of dinosaurs you can actually hunt. There's a T-Rex, there's a Sigasaurus, and a Pterodactyl. Oh. Oh. Indeed so. If you look through these icons, nah, uh, each dinosaur tells you what kind of bait you need to catch them, to hunt them down, and then what kind of rewards you actually collect, which is actually the meat for the time being. Yeah, yeah. So the first three dinosaurs you can, you can hunt as 75 Hunter is a, is a T-Rex, the Bandit Rex, the Arcane Roster Rapper and the Cyclop. Oh. Now they have like two one fish with a sailfish, shark, and a man away. Hey, it must be raw actually, based on all the other baits for these dinosaurs. And they tell you what kind of what low you actually hunting at. And these so. So it's not 75 Slayer, it's 55 Slayer, I say. My mistake, it's actually 75 Hunter and 55 Slayer. Yeah, to hunt down these dinosaurs. That's, that's two of one. Yeah. Now, if I go to... Now, if I go to my hunting skill, go to the Big A Hunter category, uh, it would tell me what kind of monsters I can actually hunt. And then click on, the, on them. But tell me what kind of bait I need to use to hunt to actually play the game. Yeah, yeah. And at level 96 hunter, you can hunt down all these dinosaurs after all, which is kind of cool. Look, as long as you have the the responsible slayer level of it. Anyway, hey, I'm gonna show you some some tips and tricks about a big yeah big game hunter. First one, you need to have a bait box uh, open up and make sure you have the right bait to cut to hunt down these dinosaurs. So to hunt down the burgers to wax, I'm gonna take my three man man way, which is raw, uh, and then. You start with a bait box right here, uh, no, bait pad right here to start the game. Now it tells you like a warning if you want to show you want to start your big game hunter to hunt down these dinosaurs. And after you do five successful hunts, it uh, gives you a counter timer to when you can do it again. And that is one hour. So after one hour, uh, you can actually hunt down these dinosaurs once again in that starting. The one whale drop you actually get from these dinosaurs is a dragon manic for archaeology. And that uh, manic allows you to upgrade into a canto manic at all. Uh, so you can, you can upgrade a dragon, a tier 60 manic to a tier 70 Matic in the cell, and also actually augmented the Encanto Matic. Since you can't upgrade, augmented the other ones, like the Elder Ruins, 
mechanics, you can actually uh, augment them. The not suitable threats, but you can make them plus one, two, and three. Okay. Anyway, enough about that. Anyway, let's see. Let's get into the game with a big a hunter. See, so it's gonna be a warning on warning of what I want to do. So I just threw away a the the bossu rappers, the pterodactyls actually. So the first one is if you want to slay high levels of these dinosaurs, they are there are no hiding areas or tall grass. Uh, and what you need is actually a armor piece, like a like a venture perk called mobile. Mobile is actually a perk that actually gives you a cooldown of escape. Surge, Dive, and Barge. All four of these are has a cooldown actually when you use them. And now they're very useful for high level dinosaurs. For low levels, like which is like tier one, you can actually you're welcome to use them, but they are not that suitable to use them because the these dinosaurs walk pretty slow. Oh, and they are actually some high spots you can actually hide from from them and that sort of thing. So it's not <laughs> it's up to you if you want to actually stay in the right place or just keep going. Right. Yeah. So that's one tip of it. Second tip is you want to collect some some resources. So you cut down these trees or cut down these vines and get work cutting XP. See? First of all you want to to collect ten of these jungle logs and so then now this is actually a good spot for staying for a while because the as you know these dinosaurs are are slow but they can walk in circles. Yes. The thing about them is you you just Keep your way far away from the thing. They have a circle behind blue, green, yellow, and red. Red is actually when you should uh, lose the game after all. Look, now they have a counter of 14 of the maximum. Uh, oops, I think that's too much. Yeah, that's definitely too much. Uh, anyway, that's, that's fine. We can actually fletch three. Okay. So mainly you want to fletch a lot of, oh, shoot, I don't think I, I thought it was whole grass there, but nope, it's right here, hold on, there's supposed to be two tall grasses, couches, uh, I guess not, uh, I guess they change it, okay, anyway, uh, I'm going to, my uh, cut down these jungle vines. You need three jungle vines or more. It's really up to you. You think about the. Oh, let me get a circle. Thing about hunter is you want to keep far away from the hunt from the circle. Oh, if the good news is you can you try to keep it a bit from blue and green. And maybe yellow, but once you hit, once you hit orange and red, you better run away, escape, far, uh, far enough from it. it. But anyway, hey, I'm going to fletch these jungle logs into three. Hey, and that's the responsible way of it. And then we, and then you choose what kind of log. Frogs you need to do. So you would normally choose two frogs of the same colors and then one color of a different frog. Oh, and why that is because you want to build these scorpions to arm with, with the spears that you have. But, so hold on, let me just 
the Ahun goes through and stop me once more. Okay, now let's, so let's grab one yellow, one yellow, and then let's try a blue frog to to do like maybe like two blues. It was just trying to figure out what, like a weak uh, a certain color for 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 weakness of dinosaurs. If if the trap hits a high level steel of the color, you take that all three. If it doesn't, you have to change. That means you have to change your uh, tactics to what you want to use to add it. That's it. Yeah, uh, and you just keep going around, sitting until you get wider. To get uh, far away from the circle. Circle. So hold on, I got take out. So I got my two. I got my two blues and one yellow steels. Now I've got to get my scorpions. And when I need two, uh, pretty sure I need two logs and one vine. Yeah. And then you just build all three of these scorpions, and make sure you are far away from the dinosaur, say in blue or the green. Yeah, it's the the tip is you want to go in a circle. You don't want to do them all around. You don't want to do them all at once. Like just like build and then arm them. You maybe want to just. Uh, Built and then go build ahead and build the next one. Next one, yeah. So I keep doing that until you reach a certain wave of it. Uh, yeah, it's kind of um, weird, but it works. Works and be so. So anyway, let me see if you can actually. Arm um, one of these scorpions. There you go. That's one. Okay, it should be not too long to get all three of them. Okay, so I got all my scorpions arm with the spears, and hold on. When I'm just trying to build the bait, the hot spot, actually, where you put your bait in, and that costs one log to build. No vines, actually. So, but the, the thing is, you want to do where your hot spot is go around in circles, circles while you're building it. And then once you do that, you can actually just place your, place your bait on the hot spot. And then there's a like a cinematic scream to what you actually did, did right. Now, it, sh it should tell you the high level of spear color, uh, like 30,000. So let's see which it is. And it's yellow, actually. So, so you farm yellow frogs. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this again. So hold on, let me go to my tall grass and fletch three of these jungle logs, the spears. Be helpful if I didn't get crushed, they have like step on a dinosaur. Okay, now you will, now since he, his weakness was actually yellow, I'm going to form yellow. Fox. 
I don't get why they call poison frogs when they don't when they don't actually poison the dinosaur. So, because each dinosaur cost uh starts with ninety thousand health, and then they actually keep the way up, keep the way status of of it. So you um until you kill them, you actually lose them. This is hard. Okay, that's all the what we have. Let me go ahead and build these, and I get back to when we get back to the schematic scene. Okay, now I should actually slay this dinosaur with the correct amount of bar colors. Take a step, and kaboom! One shot is dead. And there you have it. Now you all you just skin the dinosaur and hope for the best you get some type of reward from it. And there you go. Oh, that dinosaur is slay. So you can do that five more times after you slay your fifth dinosaur, it goes to a cooldown and that you can't hunt it down anymore. Oh, but it drops the bait, meat that you need to use, and some bones, and then some, and then also scales, and sometimes it could be a damaged dinosaur hide or a book or a dinosaur hide fix. I think so. So yeah, there you go. Oh, and also you draw some like random items. Um, too. So I'm not sure why I have. <laughs> And Addy scabbing blades, <laughs> but that's pretty good actually. Yeah, eight thousand each, so that's pretty good actually. That's a good price. And you can gain a lot of money from Big Game Hunter, and it's actually reasonable. And also, you can get those drops of a Dragon Magic, which is like thirty-five mil of each one of them. And this way, you upgrade your tools to Encanto and in, in so and I think that's actually pretty much it I gotta say so thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna leave the video here after all but and that's all the tips and tricks about it so don't forget to comment like and subscribe join T Ravens if you follow me on all my social media accounts and I'll see you next time Wow, a big A hunter Bye-bye.